Hello, Scorpio. Welcome to your weekly love reading. Thank you very much for being here. It'll be the Unicorn Tarot. I'm seriously sorry about the delay. It has been crazy moving into an area with no internet access, so I'm doing my best to figure it out. So, whoops. <laughs> Let's see here. This is your angel answer card that answers whatever question you have at the end of the reading. So, say a little prayer, Scorpio. <laughs> I need internet desperately. <laughs> so, romance angels. What does Scorpio need to know? Card for Scorpio. Scorpio. <sighs> Past life relationship, you have known each other before. Hmm. So, someone you're uh, meeting, or already know, is known before. Are you involved with someone who you feel ridiculously comfortable with, even though maybe you've only known each other a couple weeks? Or maybe a little more, but things you share are so over the top you can't believe it makes you worry nine of swords this is that uh anxiety like oh, my goodness gracious so i imagine this could cause you a little bit of anxiety scorpio because you know you might be saying things that even surprise yourself and you think why am i saying this and why is it okay and like it's just very different than your norm. And look at that. Cards are flipping out in here. Yeah, look at that. Judgment day. Time for judgment. And look at that. The Ten of Pentacles. So somewhere in the universe, the universe has decided that you get this judgment. There's a decision that has to be made. And the decision is, here's the Ten of Pentacles. This is everything you could want, really, in a relationship. This is stability, generational wealth, comfort, everything that you could want in a, in a family. And it's coming to you. So somewhere in that karmic wheel, you've, you've, you've gotten the, the, the good turn there, you know. And uh, one second. No cards for Scorpio, please. Ha, huh, the magician. I can't tell you. You think you're the third? Maybe the third sign, fourth sign to get the magician. So a lot of what's going on this week, we have control over. And for me, I'm noticing Scorpio that she's pointing, what seems to be pointing to the moon. So I want to say that this, this feeling, this person is going to be around a full moon. It, it could say that um, you are uh, meeting them around the time of the full moon. I know we just had a, a new moon and there's a full moon at the end of, I'm doing this in August of 2021. So it could mean that, you know, that's this is happening or that you make this happen because the magician the whole thing with the magician card is you have all the tools that you need to make something happen, to create this. So the person that you feel comfortable with, the one that it causes you a bit of anxiety that you feel so comfortable, you know, if you want this to move forward, if you want this to happen, you have control over it. So let's put these back. There's too many cards here. More cards for Scorpio. Tell us more. Tell us more about this past life relationship. Seven of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. Seven of Pentacles is there's been work and you're watching the seeds grow. You're, you're seeing what's happened, you know. And I think that I've never thought about this before, but with this card, she's got a, a squirrel on her shoulder. And a squirrel just doesn't sit on your shoulder and allow you to interact with them like that. This is a relationship that's been worked on. 
there's been effort put into this. That's the seven of pentacles. So she's starting to see the results of that effort in getting this relationship to work. I am noticing this very dark bunny, which you could almost see kind of blends in. So I feel like she's starting to gain a relationship with this person because I think that's representative of this is that this might have actually been a relationship that started in past lives. And only now this person's like the equivalent of the squirrel and is suddenly, it sounds so awful, doesn't it? So sorry, this doesn't sound right, but I, I hope you understand what I mean. It's not meant to be offensive. But Scorpio, this is someone who maybe, maybe they've been skittish and, or maybe you've been skittish and there's been a fear of things not working out, but the chariot card says it's going to work out. There's going to be mutual support. Um, the baby in the bowl without both hands there, that baby's going down <laughs> and the relationship in this case is the baby in the bowl. You know, what is it? Uh, oh, baby in cradle, well, baby in the, what is it? Oh, so-and-so and so-and-so, uh, first comes with a baby. Oh, oh, you know what I'm talking about? The old thing. K-I-S-S-I-N-G first comes whatever and then there's the baby in the tree anyway I hope someone knows what I'm talking about and I just don't sound like a crazy person <laughs> but this relationship is the baby it needs support it needs to be worked on in other words can it be all that yes it can absolutely be all that with this person who you feel really comfortable with but it's going to take some effort and it is a relationship that is going to be, I feel, perfected in this life. You know, maybe you knew each other before, but I feel like you guys have a soul contract saying, you know, we're here to figure it out in this life and make it work. Of course, you have free will. Remember that. Free will says you can choose to or you can choose not to. It could be with a younger earth sign, um, someone who enjoys uh, luxuries, this card, though, when I was reading about it, the way she has the grapes, the Page of Pentacles is traditionally about learning something new, starting a new learning path. This could be about learning how to enjoy. So maybe in the past life, you two couldn't work it out and didn't know how to enjoy. And this is about learning how to enjoy the relationship enjoy having fun together like the relationship might have been work before but now you're learning to have fun possibly with there's the earth sign coming up the knight of pentacles this would be someone who is uh, if it's their sun or rising sign um could be also venus because it's a love reading but uh methodical organized uh your earth signs would be your taurus virgo and capricorn but once again, we have Virgo showing up for you here. So, interesting. So, Scorpio, have you met an Earth sign recently? That seems a little too comfy cozy. Yet a little embarrassed by the things you say to each other or to them. And it's like, wow, this is so weird. Why is this okay? Because you've known each other. And what I would say... You know, you say things, and this is a lot of fast communication. I'm led to believe that this could actually have been somebody you meet online simply because with the Eight of Wands, it, it can imply uh, that fast-moving uh, electronic-involved uh, information going back and forth. So... <laughs> Interesting. Interesting. Very interesting, Scorpio. Haha, <laughs> I like it. I like that. A relationship with someone you have a soul contract. Pretty incredible. Wow. Five of Swords. You know, uh, astrologically, I, I once had a reading done and it talked about boundaries. And when you have a soul contract with somebody to come back and to live at the same time again and interact. Sometimes it's about learning to do just that, set boundaries and come to an understanding. Um, 
that could be part of what this is about is learning how to be together, have fun, but still maintain who you are as individuals, not where, you know, the relationship takes over and you lose yourselves, which, you know, happens to a lot of people. Anything else for Scorpio? So, so far we have a possible soul contract with someone. It's your choice if it happens or not. But if you do choose, you know, it's it, this explains that soul contract explains why you're, you're nervous, but you're doing it. But it also explains the Ten of Pentacles, because in this lifetime, you're meant to figure it out. The Magician is here. Seven of Pentacles. The work is being put in. The Chariot is moving forward. You support one another. Learning how to have fun, plan, good communication and still maintain your individuality. I mean, this is an incredible reading, Scorpio. Really incredible. Yeah, Four of Swords. So you've taken a break. You took a break, and this is what's what's happening next, you know? And like I said, free will, Two of Swords. It's a choice. Could you walk away from this person? Absolutely. But do you want to? Only you can answer that question. Or maybe, as I'm holding this here, have you decided to take a break, to make a choice whether you want to move forward in this relationship? Because with the Four of Swords next to the Two of Swords, that's exactly what this looks like, isn't it? Do I want to put this relationship to sleep? Or do I want to get on that mountain there and go towards the sun? Only you can decide, Scorpio. It's always free will. So what's your question? Here's your answer. Oops. Meditation brings answers. <laughs> well, four of swords. Meditations bring answers, right? Meditation brings answers to, do I want this? Or do I not want this? So, Scorpio, thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate it. Please don't forget to like this, uh, like the reading. And if it resonates, please subscribe. If you just enjoyed it and want to see more, subscribe too and share. Thank you. Take care. Bye.